Possibly one of the most important parts of programming and making applications is receiving input from the user. Knowing how to understand what the user of the program wants the code to do means that your code can have a meaningful connection with the user. So there's many ways of getting user input in C++, but we'll be focusing on how to interpret what the user types into the console. Even trying to get text input from the console has many ways of going about it, but we'll be focusing on a simple but effective way of doing so. But we'll cover other methods later if we need to. Before we begin, I'd just like to mention that we can no longer use getchar at the end of our program to wait for user input. To do this on Windows, we can say system and then in brackets and quotation marks, pause which pauses the program until a character is pressed, and then we'll continue the program, which for our program will close the application. So to begin with, we must define a variable. This is where we will store the user's input. This could be many types of variables. For example, if we wanted to store the age of the user, we might want to use an integer. But for this example program, we'll be storing the name of the user, therefore we must use a string as it has multiple letters. To declare this variable, we'll start by saying string, then the name of the variable, which I'll set to name. Then we can just put a semicolon as this variable does not need to store any data yet. Now we can print out a small message asking for the user's name. We can do this by simply saying see out, then an output stream operator, then please enter your name, then another output stream operator, then the keyword end l, which as we know will just print out the text, please enter your name. Now that we have printed out the prompt, we can begin to get the user's input. Just like the C out keyword in C++, which allows for console output, there is a keyword for console input, which is simply C in. A key difference is that if you wanted to output something, you would use the output stream operators. But for input, you need to use the input stream operators, which is just a pair of angle brackets facing to the right. Another way of thinking about it is, they face to the opposite direction of the output stream operators as the information is going in a different direction. So now that we know the syntax of C in, we can start using it. To get the input, we'll say C in, followed by the input stream operators, then the variable that we want to store the user's input inside, for this I'll use name, as that's the name of the variable that we set earlier. Now we can just use a semicolon to tell C++ that this statement is done. And now we have successfully stored the name of the user inside a variable named, well, name. Now we can print out the user's name by using multiple insertion. As we know, we can do this by saying C out, then an output stream operator, then your name is then multiple insertion operators, then the name of the variable name, then output stream operators, and then the keyword end L. This will print out the sentence, your name is, followed by the current value that has been stored inside the name variable. So if we run the program, it'll ask for a name, and I'll just type in a name like Steve for this example. And as we can see, it successfully printed out the name that we entered. The capabilities of getting console input stretch much further than this simple program, but it's a good way of introducing the concept and syntax of getting console input in C++. So let's just go over why this program works one last time. To begin with, we declared a string variable named name, but we did not store a value inside this variable. So at this time, the variable does not store anything. Then we said, C out, please enter your name and L, which simply printed out the text to the console as we know. But then we wrote C in, then input stream operators, and then the variable name name, which got the text that the user typed into the console and then stored that data inside the name string variable. Then we stated C out, your name is name and L, which joined the sentence your name is with whatever the current value of the variable name was, which was set on the line before. Finally, we stated system pause, which told Windows to pause the console application until the user types a character. Then it will close the program due to the statement return zero. So congratulations. You've made a program that can grab user input from the console 
and then print out that input. This is just the tip of the iceberg of the power of getting user input. But in the next lesson, we'll be learning how to make mathematical calculations using only C++, but more on that next time. So let's start.